Hey guys, your tech reviews here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the dummy, also known as the display model iPod Touch 4th generation. Now, the difference between a display model and the actual iPod Touch is that they have the exact same dimensions, but they just have no internal, so you obviously can't play with it, check out multitasking, and all that fun stuff. Now, I actually got this product free of charge for review purposes, so I'd just like to thank the kind eBay seller that goes by the username armor underscore store so much for sending me out this product once again. If you're interested in checking out his store, which I would highly recommend, his link will be down below. So without any further ado, let's just go ahead and open this up. Now it did take a week or two to get to Canada from Hong Kong, which isn't too bad in my opinion. And as you can see, it comes in this nice box. As you can see, here's the iPod Touch itself, and of course you get the customer appreciation card, which most eBay sellers do supply. As you can see, you also get the iPod Touch in a Ziploc bag, which we're just going to go ahead and open up. And then you also have it nicely wrapped up in this plastic wrap. So as you can see, it is somewhat protected. Obviously, it could have been protected better, but this is a display model, so there's not too much that could be done if it were to get bumped here and there. Now, taking a look at it from a glance, it does look like a real iPod Touch. Unfortunately, I don't own the real iPod Touch 4th generation, so I can't do a comparison. But I did take a look at this one in comparison to the Apple Store's iPod Touch, and it looked pretty much the exact same. Now, if we go ahead and take a look at the ports right here, as you can see, you have the 30-pin connector, your one grill, and your 3.5mm headphone jack, which are fully accessible. You pretty much can't even tell that it's fake from here. Taking a look at the volume buttons, the only downfall is that they're not actually functional, so you can't push them, but they look like the exact same on the actual iPod Touch. Now, the cool thing about the power button right here is that it is functional. As you can hear, you can click it and all, and of course you have the camera and the little mic there. It does look pretty realistic, as you can see, compared to the iPod Touch 2nd generation, or the iPad 2nd generation. I did purchase this with my own money, and as you can see, the camera looks really phony. Well, here it does look way more realistic, in my opinion, so not too bad. The only downfall is the back here. First of all, when I got it, it had these kind of dots, as you might be able to see. And taking a close look at the print, the Apple logo, and the iPod logo right there. It wasn't put on that nicely, it was put on pretty cheaply, so as you can see it is starting to chip off a little. And maybe after a year's use, it'll obviously pretty much probably all be gone. And of course you got the 32 gigabytes right there. Taking a look at the front, this is where you can tell it's a display model as to how it's cardboard, not an actual glass screen or LCD. You also have the home button, which is fully functional and clickable, and you have the front-facing camera. Now, I actually did chest out the dimensions. I have a screen protector on it that comes from a company, and as you can see, it lines up really nicely. In fact, you can't even tell that it's on there right now. So the screen dimensions are identical in case if you wanted to make a screen protector. Now, I also have the case right here, which we're going to go ahead and put on. And as you can see, it fits on perfectly fine. Everything lines up nicely. So as you can see, it is true. The dimensions are correct. And from a distance, especially if you don't turn the screen over, you can't even tell that it's fake or real. Now you're probably wondering, why would I need a display model? Maybe you're starting up a new company, yet you don't want to purchase the actual iPod Touch, but you want to find out the dimensions and whatnot to make your case or screen protector. This would work out perfectly fine. Instead of paying $230, you simply just pay around $20, I believe. Another good thing is say you want to do product reviews. If you're a product reviewer such as myself, but you can't afford an iPod Touch, but you still want to get videos up on the interwebs, simply purchase a display model. Some people might not be satisfied if you do reviews with the display model. They might think you're cheap or something like that, but I'd say it's perfectly fine in my opinion. So those are just some of the scenarios. So you obviously have to be creative. And if you need an iPod Touch 4th generation display model that looks fairly realistic, I'd highly recommend this one right here. So thanks again to the kind folks over there at Armor Store so much for sending me out this product free of charge for review purposes. If you guys are looking for an iPod Touch 4th generation display model to prank your friends and whatnot, pretend you're breaking their iPod Touch and cool stuff like that, check out the link down there. Their store will be down there and they don't just sell fake iPod Touch products, they sell a whole bunch of other tech savvy products for all you geeks out there such as myself. So thanks for watching, please do not forget to rate, favorite, comment, subscribe, give this video a thumbs up and I really hope that you guys have an awesome day. See ya!